Hi. In this video, I'll be taking apart my Amscope microscope. Um, from what I've been able to tell, there's no model number on it, um, but I think they're pretty similar in build type um, for this general model. So yours may apply if it looks something like this. I've wanted to take it apart because it looks as though there's a shutter on the side of the microscope that would open and close the path for trinocular viewing. So what I'm going to do is just remove these four screws on the bottom. They're pretty tough to remove actually. They're um, torqued on pretty good. So you want to be careful you don't strip them, put a lot of downward force on them. And that's pretty much it. It should be loose and it should come apart pretty easily after you take the screws out. Putting on a mask here also just to try to prevent uh, dust and other things, foreign matter, from getting inside of this. A clean room would be ideal, but as we'll see in a moment, it's actually not hermetically sealed. One last thing before you remove the housing, you have to remove the uh, arm for this, what I th thought was a shutter. What turns out is not a shutter right there. And then the two uh, pieces of the housing come apart. So right now I'm just having a look at the uh, both of the sides of the housing. And in a moment we'll get a better angle here and be able to see what's going on. So this part of the housing is actually uh, where the uh, slide is attached. So the one eyepiece slides in and out of the way for the trinocular port. So it's actually only a binocular port and when the um, beam redirecting crystal is pulled out, light is able to travel through the port and onto the mirror in the white housing part and that goes to the um, camera or the you know whatever whatever you have mounted um, where the camera would normally be mounted so this isn't what I had hoped I was hoping there'd just be a shutter and they would you know manufacture the trinocular uh, scopes and just um, put a shutter, you know, and have a higher price point for the trinocular scopes and just um, charge less for the binocular ones and just kind of um, sell them at a reduced cost. Here's a little bit more detailed look inside. Um, not much to see, just some mirrors and some uh, crystals redirect uh, light. So here you have the one um, crystal that's going to redirect light depending on which location it's in. And as you can see, this whole thing is, is not hermetically sealed. It's, it's made in a way the dust isn't going to easily get into it. But, um, you know, there's, there's not going to be any air movement really through it. So it's, you know pretty pretty safe from the incursion of dust but not not absolutely um, so that's that's basically it uh, right now I have a I think I have the 2x lens on here but uh, put it back together and uh, fortunately there's there's no way to remove any sort of shutter on this model right here 
Um, as I find trying to work on things under the microscope and um, either film or picture, take photographs of them is pretty difficult uh, if you're working with one eye only. So it would have been nice to have binocular vision for yourself and also be able to record, but that is not possible with this model. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you in some way. Um, if you're thinking about uh, opening one of these and you're worried about getting any sort of dust or contamination in them and on the lenses, and you'd like to remove what you believe to be a shutter. It is not a shutter, it is a binocular microscope and you're just moving a beam redirector um, in and out of the way for the uh, trinocular portion, if you can call it that. And just a little bonus, I uh, set my camera up and we can take a look at this LED light that uh, I cut the top off of accidentally, or the top broke off. Although you can't really see too much from the small screen I have there. One thing I did briefly look into was the possibility of using a beam splitter, which would theoretically provide a light path for both the camera port as well as the eyepiece, eliminating the need for a moving lens. But because finding such a product that worked for this particular application would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, and require modification of the microscope that could lead to misalignment and possibly cause permanent damage, I decided it was not a route I wanted to explore much more.